In this video, we will tell you the 9 rules of money that will help you to get rich quickly. These rules are also discussed by famous millionaires in many of their interviews. All the rules are very important for you to follow. So you must watch this video till the end, or you may miss the opportunity to become rich. Now let's start. 1. The Zero-Based Budget At the beginning of each month, with the zero-based budget, each dollar is given a task to do. This is the fundamental premise behind the budget. This indicates that you have a certain sum allotted to each area of expenses, such as $500 for the purchase of fresh produce. This does not imply that you have to spend every single cent, since the zero-based budget is predicated on the concept that your income minus all of your spending will equal zero. It is possible to allocate, for instance, $200 to savings, which is simultaneously considered a cost. I would say that this would be your most important expense. 2. The 24-10 rule concerning the acquisition of a vehicle. The 24-10 guideline is the one that I see the majority of people ignoring when they are interested in purchasing a new automobile. It is simple to develop a strong attachment to that brand new automobile that is shown in the showroom. Despite the fact that your financial resources may not be able to accommodate your new passion, it is at this point that the regulation is implemented. When you are purchasing a new automobile, it is imperative that you make a down payment equal to at least 20% of the entire cost and that you finance the new vehicle for a period of no more than four years. Because of the fact that a car is an asset that loses value over time, it is essential to be certain that you do not end up having to pay payments toward the overall cost of the vehicle for many years to come. One last thing to consider is that the amount of money you spend on your automobile each month should not exceed 10% of your total income. This comprises payments for the car, payment for gasoline, payment for insurance, and regular maintenance. If you want to know the best tips and tricks to get rich then do press the subscribe button and also the like button. 3. Refrain from paying using credit cards Every family in the United States that has a credit card has an average of $7,104 in credit card debt. And the average number of credit cards that an American possesses is 3. The use of credit cards makes it possible to swiftly develop the habit of spending money that is not yours, but that belongs to someone else. High interest rates recurrent monthly payments, and a poor credit score are common components of this debt cycle, which is a situation from which very few people are able to escape. When it comes to credit card debt, rather than taking a nonchalant stance, you should do everything it takes to become debt-free. 4. Quit feeling the need to keep up with the Joneses. If money is a concern for you, you should avoid doing things like purchasing a brand new iPhone or a designer purse that isn't quite required. Purchasing a phone that requires you to make payments on a monthly basis is a sign that something is awry. If you want to know what you can afford, ask yourself instead. Despite the fact that a phone that costs $200 may fulfill all of your requirements, people continue to spend $1,200 for a phone that has a half-bitten apple on the back. Your objectives should be reevaluated, and you should set financial goals for yourself that you can work toward achieving over the next five years. Remind yourself of those objectives whenever you feel like you are about to overextend yourself and waste money without any justification. 5. Ensure that you get every single penny of the employer matching on your 401k plan. The term Employer matching refers to the situation in which your company makes a contribution to your 401k plan depending on the amount of your own yearly payments. Because it is effectively a rejection of future money, it ought to be considered a criminal offense to not take full advantage of this offer, even down to the penny. If you have the opportunity to invest in a 401k or its nonprofit equivalent, the 403b, you should do so to the fullest extent possible. Yourself in the future will be grateful to you. 6. Avalanche is the method that should be used to pay off high-interest student loans first. 
Making the minimum payments on all of your student loans is the first step in the avalanche technique. After that, you will use any additional funds to pay down the student loans that have the highest interest rates. The majority of the time, this is the most prudent way for paying off debt since it will result in cost savings over the course of time. To put this into perspective, the debt snowball strategy, which entails paying off the lowest loan first, is not nearly as beneficial in the long term as this method. Furthermore, in order to repair your credit as quickly as possible, the debt landslide approach allows you to pay off the most recent account first. However, the true advantages of the avalanche come from the elimination of those high interest debts that are robbing you blind even if the snowball technique does allow you the option to have modest victories that keep you motivated. 7. Make sure you have a backup fund. Even if you just have a few hundred dollars in your emergency fund, it may make a huge difference in the event that you ever find yourself in a situation where you are in such dire need of cash. Despite the fact that it is the rule that is most usually disregarded, this is perhaps the most fundamental financial advice that anybody can offer you. The fact that just under 40% of Americans are able to afford to pay an unexpected expenditure of $1,000 tells a lot. We all need a backup plan in the event that things get difficult, we lose our job, or we are involved in a vehicle accident. If we do not have even $1,000 in our possession, this might be a really challenging situation. 8. Establish a home repair fund equal to 1% of the value of your property. In the event that you own your own house, you will be required to deal with the price of repairs on an annual or even monthly basis whenever they are necessary. The basic rule of thumb is to put away 1% of the present value of your property each year for any repairs that may be required even if it is impossible to estimate the precise amount that you could have to spend on potential repairs. And if you do not end up utilizing the money, that is fantastic. Always remember to put some of it aside for any future decorating expenses or expenses that may arise. 9. Discuss the financial matters with your spouse. This might seem like relationship advice, but it is actually a piece of financial advice and a rule of personal finance. If you and your wife agree on any particular financial matter, it would be the best decision. The discussion and counter questions will help you to think about the decision and will help you to stay clear about the topic you are investigating. Also, if you get the support from your wife, then no other force could stop you in this world from getting rich. The internal integrity of a family supports the family to grow rich in this competitive world. That's all for today. Now you know all the rules of money that will actually make you rich. If you didn't understand any of these rules then feel free to add a comment below. We will be happy to help you out with your queries. Press the like button also if you want to know more amazing financial tips and tricks to get rich. Press the like button also because this motivates us to make more amazing financial videos for you. Share this video with everyone including your friends, relatives, family members, friends and all others for them to learn. These rules have made many people millionaires. That's why we are suggesting you these rules. All the millionaires and multi-billionaires have discussed these rules of money in their financial podcasts and interviews. Billionaires like Sir Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Charlie Munger, and all others have said these rules to the people. Getting rich is all about how you handle money and how much you obey it. If you obey the rules of money, then only you could become rich in this modern era. But according to the rules of personal finance, you must also invest your money into different assets. We discussed some of the assets in this video, but these are not enough. You must invest your money in a diversified manner and in proper areas. We have made a specific video on the best investments that you should make to get rich. Click on the video appearing on the right side to watch it. Thank you.